All right, Rick's joining us again. He's got another review, and this one I know a lot of people have their eyes on. Yep. And, and, I mean, it's like every billboard I feel like is is promoting this movie. We're talking about the Spider Verse. Right, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And probably the reason they're anticipating this thing is we've gone through so many bad comic book movies yeah. with Black Adam and Ant-Man and Shazam. And we finally get to one that I think is right now the best film of the year. Really? It is the most incredibly visual film you will see, at least going back five years to the previous movie that was done by this group. Uh, it's a story, for those who, I'll catch up real quick. The multiverse suggests that there is an infinite number of universes out there where, uh, like in a case, it could be a case where in one of those universes, you're the movie critic and I'm the anchor. But in this case, there are hundreds of Spider-Man. And we find out that if one of them gets misplaced and gets in the wrong universe, it causes a glitch and that could destroy that universe. Well, this bad guy by the name of The Spot, which is really one of the worst names for a villain I've ever heard of, he ends up causing a problems. Now, this Spider-Man in this movie is Miles, Mor is Miles Morales. He's a, a Brooklyn kid who's the Spider-Man in this universe. He wants to stop the spot, but by doing that, he finds out that there's a lot of things he could be doing that could disrupt the universe again. He gets help from his somewhat girlfriend in Gwen Stacy, who's voiced by uh, Haley Steinfeld, uh, and trying to save his, his own life and the world. What I love about this show is it has so many layers to it. The bottom layer for, for young kids, it's just so much action going on. And all these different, there's hundreds of Spider-Man. And mm -hmm. so you're, you're seeing a Spider-Man and a dinosaur, it's a dinosaur and one that's a pig and, and regular Spider-Man and one on horseback. Then the, for, the, for the teens, it's a great story about a teenager who can save the world, but still gets grounded by his parents. And then for adults, <laughs> it is visually one of the most incredible films you ever it's, see. I was gonna ask you, I mean, obviously you're thinking, oh, it's better, it's gonna be a kid's <laughs> film, but the adults are gonna like it too? Oh, adults are gonna love it. And in yeah. fact, I'm, I'm convinced you cannot appreciate this film fully with one viewing. You're going to have to see it multiple, multiple times because there's so much going on. They use every kind of animation style possible. You go from very realistic to watercolors mm -hmm. to even animation from the 60s cartoon show. Can we show the video one more time? Because I, I've, I was actually kind of watching it and I was very impressed. I mean, it is, Oh, uh, it, it, it is actually, I mean, look at this. This look, is just, this is just stunning animation. And this is just an, ex this is. You're right though, it's, it's like it's blending a lot of different oh, styles of animation. It, it does, and the backgrounds, even just watching the backgrounds, these beautiful watercolors, these, yeah. it is, and again, then you get somebody like uh, Sh Shamik Moore, who's doing the voice of Miles Morales, who's giving a better acting performance than, than Dwayne Johnson in, in Black Adam or yeah. uh, Zachary Levi in Shazam. I mean, it's got everything going for it. So what's your rating? I'm gonna give it an A minus only because it's the first half of a two-part okay. thing. Okay. And I hate when people have to go back for a second time. Right, okay. All right, well, you sold me. <laughs> you should go. Yeah, all right. Well, thanks, Rick, coming in, appreciate it. It's, uh, it looks happy. like it's always great to have a, a film to look forward to. All right.